Welcome to the second video of our seven part comparison series. Today we're taking a look at the speakers and this topic is really important to me because I pretty much use them all the time. When I brush my teeth or I shave, I usually listen to music on my smartphones. When I make a call, I usually put it on speakers or when I watch a YouTube video, I also need the speakers. So three things we're taking a look at. First, which one is the loudest? Which one has the best quality? And where are the speakers positioned? Let's go. I've got my Sony Xperia Z here and it will help us determine which phone is the loudest. All phones are of course on maximum volume. Let's start with the 5S. So I'd say on average it was about 50, maybe 51, 52. Let's do the 1020. Alright, so I would say the 1020 was a little bit louder and here I saw the number 55 a lot, so probably a little bit louder than the iPhone 5S. Let's check out the S4. So I would say the Galaxy S4 is about as loud as the iPhone 5S and the Lumia 1020 was a little bit louder than the other two devices. I've turned the volume down a little bit so we can focus more on the quality. Let's start with the S4. No surprise, there wasn't a lot of bass in any of these three phones, but I really like the sound of the iPhone 5S, just a clean sound. And then the S4 was probably a little bit better than the 1020, but let me know in the comments below how you would rank them. Let's talk about the positioning of the speaker, and again my Xperia Z makes an appearance, because it can show us how you should not place the speakers. The speaker of the Xperia Z are right here. This little thing is where the sound comes out. Now if I hold my phone in the right hand, which I usually do because I'm right handed, and I play music, See what happens? My hand blocks the sound, so really a bad position. Now on the iPhone 5, the speakers are on the bottom. Not a perfect position either because when you watch a movie or you play a game you hold in landscape mode, your fingers might actually block the sound. So on the Lumia 1020, it's also on the bottom, but it's a little bit better. It's only on the right side of the charging port. And since the Lumia 1020 is bigger than the iPhone 5, I usually only touch the phone on the bottom and I don't really block the speakers with my fingers. Now on the Galaxy S4 the sound comes out of this little hole right here. Intuitively you would say that's a bad idea because when your phone is on the table and you play music it will block the sound but actually it's not the case. Let me demonstrate. So now it's on the table when I pick it up it won't be that much louder. I'm gonna hold it this way because the microphone is right here. So actually I like the positioning of the Galaxy S4 speaker the best out of these four smartphones. I would say we have seen three good speakers here in this test, but none of them is really amazing. The HTC One has probably the best speakers of any smartphone out there right now, so if you want to see it then check out this video right here. But out of these three devices, I would pick the 1020 as my personal winner, just because it's a little bit louder than the other two devices and that's what I care about. But let me know in the comments below how you would rank them. It's a little bit harder for you to judge because you're not actually here and through the microphone, through the editing, through the uploading and through your boxes, the sound changes a little bit. But still, let us know in the comments below how you feel about these three speakers. As always, I hope you like this content and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Now it's up to you to decide which one it's going to be. The first video is the first part of the series, then the second video is the third part of the series and the third video is our scratch test of the iPhone 5S. See you there. My name is Alex. Bye.